than 9,000 12 to 15 year olds applied to help in a nationwide search by BBC Talent. They're fighting for just eight places on an extreme expedition to the Canadian Arctic. They'll help polar bears by doing major research into climate change. Deciding which young adventurers have what it takes, former army officer and expedition leader Ben Major. Completing the judging team, assistant leader Emma Jay and series producer Marshall Corwin. Why should we put you to go to the Arctic? Um, I'd be helping the polar bears, which would make me feel really proud. It's a new challenge for me. I've never done anything as big as this. I suppose I want to save the world, really. I want to... <laughs> what for you would be the hardest thing about being in the Arctic? Being afraid of being eaten alive by a polar bear, probably. <laughs> I'm not really sure about going to the toilet, isn't that what it's called? Are we going to the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> After much debate, the hopefuls are narrowed down to just 16 finalists. Now they face a challenging weekend in the freezing cold up in the highlands of Scotland. 6am on the first morning and Ben and Emma surprise them with a rude morning, awakening. Morning, morning, How are you all? You all right? Well, we've got 10 minutes. Let's do it, OK? Faster, faster, keep moving. It's minus seven degrees, so what better way to start the day than a workout in the snow? Face in the snow. Uh -oh. It's got cold hands. Right. Come on. Come on. Yeah, how are you feeling now? The dizziness gone. The early morning shock to the system has already hit Lily. I just felt really dizzy all of a sudden. It's all right now. The freezing temperatures are getting to others too. Lewis's hands are in excruciating pain. Let's get worse. Move, 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 move. Come on. Just keep them down, keep them down, keep the blood flowing into them, all right? Don't cook them up. Just keep them down, all right? They're so cold, they're like, they're numb and they're just stinging. But conditions are positively mild compared to the Arctic. Things are about to get a whole lot tougher. A 10 metre stretch of frozen lake confronts the finalists. What do you think we're doing now? Monkey Is that it? As you can see from the ice on the top, quite cold. Oh my God, I knew it. One by one, they take the plunge, quite literally. Oh, dramatic fall. That's oh, what I'm going to go. Oh, 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 nice one. Oh, nice one. Cold, cold, cold. It's you're evil. That's freezing. <laughs> You're going for a jog for an hour, do you? Well, that certainly definitely did. <laughs> it seems impossible, but a couple of the stronger lads successfully make us across. The pressure is now really on for Lewis. His hands are still hurting him badly. That's it. Get him the Come on, Lewis. Come on, come on. That's it. That's it. You got the momentum got now. The sauce now. No, I'm gonna drop. I'm not come dropping in that water. Come on, come on. That's it. Come That's on. it. The metal That's rings it. are absolutely freezing and painful to grip. You got it. Nice one, mate. But his determination carries him quick. through. Come on. Yay! Well done, Lewis. My hands were cold. I just didn't want to drop in the water. I'm so glad I didn't drop. It was hard to. So far, no girls have made it, but Emily's making it look easy. Yay! Well, I'm just glad I didn't fall in. <laughs> Where's the warm shower? <laughs> it's been quite an icebreaker, but has anyone already caught the eye of leaders Ben and Emma? Really, really impressed with little Emily, actually. I thought Emily did so, so well. She's, She's the literally only girl. a mini. The only mini across. Yeah, and she was fantastic. So well. Actually, I have to say, Lewis, because he had problems at the start. Then suddenly oh, got the momentum halfway yeah. through, and that took quite a lot of strength. The pressure on the finalists is intense. They all know only half will go to the Arctic. I just want it so, like, so much, I can't really put it into words. And I think everyone wants it just as much as I do. To get to the Arctic would mean everything, because I, I can't stop thinking about it every day when I get up. It's the Arctic. I know that there's such strong, good characters in this group. The chances of me getting there is so slim. <laughs> I'm going to go for this one. Really going to push myself to the limit. The expedition to the Canadian Arctic will be unbelievably tough. The adventurers will be living in temperatures as low as minus 50 as they head for a remote glacier. Their main task, to measure it to check on global warming. 
The team needs determined characters who can overcome conditions way beyond their normal experience. So, back in Scotland, it's time for a true leap of faith. Climbing a pole 12 metres high, around 40 feet, with a heart-stopping jump at the top. This exercise is designed to push you through what you would regard as your sort of comfort zone, all right? So it's all about challenging yourself, it's mind over matter, it's all about determination and the will to succeed, all right? For those with a fear of heights, there's going to be some serious soul-searching. Matt, for one, will be testing his nerve to the limit. I'm a bit scared of these pole ones. So I see people going, I was like shaking. It's like, it's like, I think that's what's going to like, scare me the most, the shaking of it. Yeah. The foothold's in the same place all the way up. You just need to build up a rhythm. Nice and steady, nice and steady. Just take, just take time. He's frozen with fear. Matt, just concentrate on the platform above you. Don't look down. But forces himself to go on. I'm so scared, I really am. <laughs> concentrate on what you've been doing. You've been doing absolutely brilliantly. <laughs> It's even tougher at the top. He now has to stand up on the wobbling platform. Go for it! That's it! Yeah, that's Matt, believe, believe. I'm wobbling, oh my god. Don't don't worry about what's going on down here. Right. Just to be scrapped to stand. That's, that's it! it. That's, that's it! Just take it! What a Matt! Doing, I'm all right. That is fantastic. It's just wobbling so much. I'm shaking so much. The Arctic is calling, but can he make the leap? <sighs> can I have a countdown, please? Yes! yes. Five, 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 three, two, one! Yeah. Oh, my God, I just can't get down now. <laughs> He's conquered one of his greatest fears. I've never thought in a million years I'd be doing that. It's hideous. It's, it's a, a hideous of experience, life. isn't it? At least there shouldn't be any of those in the Arctic anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... And Matt's not the only one with trouble at the top. Courtney has raced up the pole, but at the last minute, her confidence has deserted her. Any time now. Focus, focus on that, please. That's cool. Don't worry. And I'm safe. I'm safe, aren't I? Yeah, you're safe. <laughs> They're all harnessed securely, but it still takes great courage to make the leap. Oh, it's now or never, isn't it? It is. Come on, Courtney. Oh. Three, two... No, 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 don't count! Don't count! Oh, God. Here we go. Oh! oh. Yeah! <laughs> my legs were totally like jelly. Couldn't stop shivering. And then my head was like, you shouldn't really be jumping off a pole, should you? Not a good idea. I was like, go on. <laughs> Harley is by far the smallest of the finalists. He's utterly determined to beat this challenge in his Arctic quest. That's it, go on, squeeze your legs, squeeze your legs, squeeze your legs. Up you go, up you go, up you go. That's it, perfect. Look up. Excellent, excellent. Let go of the rope, Harley. Harley. I can see now I'm not going to make that trapeze. Yeah, you are, Harley. You've got to... Harley. Harley, you've got to believe. But his nerves are seriously getting the better of him. Oh, and spend those legs and make that jump. Right, I'm gonna do it. Hold on. Three, two, one. No, I can't. I can't do it. Holly, 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 you can. Believe. You can You've you can got make to it. Jump to that side. I know I'm not gonna reach it. I know it's tough, but we've got to make a decision. <laughs> All right, are we going to go for the jump or are we going to just come, I'll come do down? It. Sorry? I'll do it. Right, OK, let's do it. No, I can't do it. I want to come down. Despite his brave attempts, the only option is to lower Harley safely to the ground. <laughs> you haven't let yourself down at all. You should be proud of what you've achieved. Look, just look up there, all right? We got all the way up, over the edge. You stood on the top, yeah, and that is an amazing achievement. Others find their courage in whatever way they can. Just find your veil of wind and fly freely to your destiny. Yeah! How does it feel? 
Doable, Jenny. Doable. That's the one. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Jen, do you want a countdown or are you going to go in your own time? Yeah, the countdown. Make it quick, though, because I don't think I can stand in the number. Three, two, Three, two one. one, and go! Yeah! 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 I've done it! Yeah! I've done it! <laughs> I, was, I was flabbergasted, to be honest. I thought we'd have had at least maybe 30, 40% that wouldn't have actually got up to the top. So I think overall the group is absolutely astonishing. On the Arctic expedition, the team will have to travel more than 100 miles by dog sled across frozen lakes and mountains. They'll have to learn to drive the sleds and look after the huskies, strong working dogs who need a firm hand to control them. So back in Scotland, it's time to let the dogs out. The first task is to harness the 12 dogs up to their sled. Some find it easier than others to cope with the strength of the animals. The course is over two miles of rugged terrain in a special high-speed cart, and the power of the husky surprises everyone. Oh, 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 so fast it's like all the bumps and everything it's just like this as the exhilaration they're just like whoa how fast are these dogs go oh! <laughs> the guy like speaks like another language to him and he's telling us it took like six years to train him yep. hang on guys go on home hang on ho 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 he's going gee gee he's like what and it turns <laughs> right it's really funny I didn't think it was going to be that bumpy. Oh, dude, this is close! So we're going down there, and my legs are going everywhere. It's so cool. It's like... We're <laughs> going so fast. Straight, especially soon, as soon as we started, wasn't it? I feel jumping all over. I felt like I was going to fall out. Just <laughs> all, the way, all the way along. <laughs> Oh, that dude's a guy. That dog would be very tired. Oh, oh, oh! I thought I was going to come out. <laughs> she was like, hold on, hold on. And I was like, oh, no, I'm going to come out. So I was gripping really tight. And then we came down the hill, and I just felt my bum was like a metre off the seat and then crashed back down. In the Arctic, the team will have to prepare food for the dogs every day. One of their favourite meals, raw seal meat. So some of the finalists may not have the stomach for the judge's next challenge back in Scotland. Our next task is preparing our dinner tonight. The catch is the main course is pheasant and the birds don't come pre-packaged. Do we have to skin God. them? We're going to pluck them. them and then I want them. Oh, uh, got them. You all right? <laughs> Matt is not enjoying the experience. When eating meat, you don't think about what you have to do, and now I've seen it. I mean, I don't know if I, could, I don't know if I'd do it again. Basically, it's dead, so you can't can't hurt it anymore, <laughs> can you? And put its body to good use and eat it, really. Oh. It's quite brutal, actually, but it's a new experience. <laughs> so once you look plucked it, what do you think happens next? You have to cut <laughs> it open and take it on its own. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> it was actually like it was really graceful. It was really cool because you could see everything and like you saw its heart and its like um, intestines. You had to pull it out. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, it might great. come alive, might oh, it? Yeah. No, hold it. Isn't it alive? It feels warm. No, it's dead. Very oh, dead. For animal lover Lily, who's also a vegetarian, this task is going to be particularly difficult. I don't like doing this, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> come on, Lily. It's dead anyway. Just, just, oh, I just pulled the flesh off. Oh, this is disgusting. Wall of seeds. Look at it. Stupid bird. You are going to do it. <laughs> She's so determined to get to the Arctic, she forces herself to get on with the job. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to yeah. eat it as well. Yeah? <laughs> Doing that was, like, so horrible. I was going to... I wanted... I had to do it, though, because I had to face it. As the afternoon wears on, the challenges come thick and fast, but are the leaders any closer to choosing the final eight? It's going to be hard. Because there's 16 um, really fantastic characters. 
masses and massive enthusiasm, desperate to impress and desperate to show what they can do. The judges, you don't know what they're looking for, so I'll just keep doing my best to be myself and just give it on my own, really. You can pull each other. Oh, you can God. pull each other. Even though it's like a um, 50 50 chance and so, if I make the most of being here, because it is, it's a great achievement in itself. Look at the right, yeah. Jen. This is just like a once in a lifetime chance. It'd just be so important to me if I got through. Living in the Arctic will be extremely harsh, with the weather severe and unpredictable. The team will be camping in temperatures way colder than a freezer, when even the simplest tasks become a major challenge. So to end the audition weekend, the finalists face their biggest test, a night sleeping out in the Scottish Highlands. Any ideas where we might be camping? Up that mountain. Up that I bet it is. I bet it's up that mountain. Can we get rid of the oh, oh, This is a race against each other, but you can see the sun is already setting. So this is a race against darkness. OK, so I'm not joking when I say we actually need to get up there quite quickly. You need to work as a team. Any problems, you help each other out. Three, two, one, go! Go on then, guys, let's do it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. The temperature has already dropped to minus five and a steep one-mile hike lies ahead. Just watch your path. It's treacherous underfoot. The snow is deep and scattered with rocks. I'm going there. All right. All right, there we are. We've made one over. Some, like Fabian, are starting to struggle. Uh, my right leg's actually so playing close. up at the moment, so... Your rest is not there. I'm <sighs> a bit tired, but... Oh, oh. I keep pushing up. <laughs> really good. Can you take the floor? <sighs> Let's go. Sorry. You okay, Fabian? Yeah. Right. While Fabian soldiers on, others are finding the going even tougher. Come on, Sonny. Come on, you can't sit down, yeah? Oh, Gotta keep going. Come on. I'm really out of breath and tired. I'm letting myself down and up on us. <laughs> up ahead, there's a problem for the boys' team, too. Harley's having serious trouble breathing. Breathe in here. Not here, down here. It's really hard to pick up too, um... I think they'd rather they stop than tight, push himself but... and end up hurting himself. It's, like, yeah. it's just not worth it. Harley, mate, take your bag off. Matt and the team rally round so Harley can carry on. Bag, so let's get your yeah. bag off. Hey, yeah. just load my bag up with stuff, cos you're no. already carrying the tent. I haven't got no, anything we'll extra. Just no, it's fine, it's fine. Chuck it in mine, sorry. Oh. Everyone's exhausted and they're rapidly running out of light. But can you see how much light there is left? Yeah? we still got to get there and put the tents up, so come on, let's get going, yeah? Go, keep the knees going, Harley, keep them up. Come on, everybody. Come on, final push! Just as darkness falls, they all make it to the campsite. Ready, one! Yes! I could feel it on my legs and I was just trying to keep going, but once I got up there, I could look back and it felt really good. Amazing. Proud. Yeah. Here we we had a few troubles on the way. Yeah. I really enjoyed it, though. It's really good coming up here because we get a really good view to look back at it. That's uh, pretty good. <laughs> but after such a hard day, Harley's not feeling so positive. I don't know if I want to go to the Arctic. Come on. Don't make that decision, yeah? <laughs> you are an You're doing amazing, Harley. You can be so proud of yourself. You are. Yeah? So come on, it's not over. Okay. Don't talk like that, Harley. Don't talk. Come on. Come on, yeah? Let's, let's get this tent up and let's get this sleep. Right. As crunch time approaches, the judges are focusing on how well different team members are working together. And Courtney is fantastic. She's organising a whole tent. Alex was fantastic. She took extra sleeping bags from Sunny. She led the team up as well for a bit. And they were all helping each other, which is really nice to see. At the moment, I would have a clearer picture on the girls for a final decision than I would the boys. Um, so, yeah, all to play for right the, right the way down to the wire. In the tents, there's only one thing on their minds, tomorrow's big decision. If we don't get in, it's going to be so terrible. So I don't even want to talk about it. If I get in, then my friends won't. And if my friends get in, I, like some of my friends, I won't. So this either way, you're going to be upset. Very, 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 very nervous. I think that the sooner I can go to sleep, the better, like, the sooner tomorrow. I don't want to go to bed. So, like, sleep, sleep, sleep and dream. <laughs> As a new day dawns, it's an early wake-up call for the serious Arctic decision makers. <laughs> fantastic yeah. character, fantastic character, really bubbly, outgoing. Today is it. This is the final crunch. He, for me, has been a complete star. He's always quirky, he's always up. You know, coped with everything all weekend. Yeah. Uh, extremely well. If I don't get picked, 
I'll, I will be sad, but I try my best. Can she actually cope with the physical conditions? If I'm not the, what they're looking for, then I'm not what they're looking for. Eight of us are going to go, you know, that's half, and it's quite a lot. Mentally, I think, I don't think he necessarily has it. She really became a leader and led them up the hill, which really impressed me. Everyone here is so lovely, we just don't know who's going to get in at all, and I'm, I'm so nervous about it. It's, it's really scary, actually. Don't move anywhere. Right. The 16 Arctic hopefuls are all gathered together for the final time to learn their fate. Uh, we're now going to split you down into two groups, oh. all right? Andy, Eagle, Lily, Eagle, Emily, Osprey, Adam, Osprey, Jenilyn, Osprey, Stuart, Eagle. All the Eagles make your way into the building there, all right? All the Ospreys, yeah, make your way to the building there, OK? Emotions are running at an all-time high. Guys, I think going to like you. Guys, you've been really fantastic, but I'm sorry you're not going to be able to. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> Among those not selected are Lily and Harley. Yeah. The tension in the next room is almost unbearable. Right, guys, um, it's been a really, really cool weekend. You've endured an awful lot of cold and tribulations. Well, I'm sorry to say that. Um, you're going to be suffering an awful lot more about that. <laughs> Matt has conquered his fears and been a brilliant team player. Absolutely everything. It's like all my dreams wrapped in the one. Jenilyn has shown character and a real passion for the Arctic. And I can't believe I'm going. <laughs> Lewis has proved he's got true drive and determination. Emotions just were pumping around me. Tears started coming. I'm so happy. And completing the team, Courtney. It's incredible. It's an absolute dream. I can't believe it. Fabian. I'm not sure I wanted to laugh or cry. Alex. Lewis, I'm so excited. Adam. I'm so happy that I'm through. Oh, God. And Emily. I just started crying. I can't believe it. I'm the happiest person alive. <laughs>